back in the shop. Uh, finally got some time to be working on this. Uh, I took a little time off of work and just had some other things to do, but I finally got back to this. Uh, started working on it. Of course, you can see I got the body painted, uh, weathered. I haven't did my final black wash on the body, so still doing that, but I got the little details on. Uh, I ended up not wanting to use the front bumper because I really want to put a winch on this, so I didn't use the front bumper. Uh, as far as the winch, I bought a replica of the RC four-wheel drive Warren winch, but it was really too big for the scale, so I've got another one of these winches, if you can see it on this black truck. Uh, this is a RC, or three racing winch. It's a little bit smaller scale, so I got another one of those coming. I'm going to weather it up and put it on the front. Uh, I ended up switching out the side rails. <clears throat> Excuse me. The ones I had on there, to me, were just, they were too little looking, kind of flimsy. I think these are RC four-wheel drive, I don't remember. But uh, I just didn't like them. I wanted something a little thicker and closer to the body. So I got these. Those are uh, from, those are Wordy Made uh, SCX-10 round tube sliders if you can see that yeah this is this is what it takes to get something like this going yeah believe it or not um what else <clears throat> i haven't really done anything with the chassis other than what you had other than mounting the bumper and the bumper was a pain to mount because of this front servo and the servo mount uh, there's no room for posts, so I ended up, you know, having to cut the post down. You know, the bumper didn't really fit, you know, level, so I had to end up angling the posts on the front to get the, you know, the setting right. But, you know, finally got it. I mean, that was a day work just doing that. But uh, other than that, I don't really have anything. I got the fenders, inner fenders on, but uh, nothing else. I'm just kind of... You know waiting on the electronics i have everything to do it but i just you know i'm just i got into the body so i started working on the body and i haven't even really worried about the electronics but uh oh another thing i was looking all over in the kit all my parts for this and i had no wiper blades <clears throat> they didn't give me any wiper blades in the kit but i wasn't probably going to use them anyway because i like using the 3d printed ones so, but I got the windshield kind of detailed up and got my wipers, you know, I haven't mounted. I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait to mount the wipers because just manipulating the body around, I'll end up breaking them off probably. So, but I got all my trim painted, my door handles on, the mirrors on. Uh, I had one extra wiper, so I ended up, you know, kind of bending it up to use it for a rear wiper. I think the original actually goes on this side, but the way this wiper is, I'm going to have to put it on this side, but it's going to look fine. I uh, got that going. I ended up, I am using the rear bumper. Uh, I mean, it looks fine. I'm Just the way that everything mounts up, it's easier to use the rear bumper. Uh, I bought the tail lights that had the already colored, so I didn't have to worry about painting those, but I'll weather all that stuff up with my black wash. The fender flares were an issue for me. I got them all done and ready to put on. I put them on and it just took up so much of the wheel well. And it looks, you know, really scale, which I like. But as the look I'm going for is, you know, kind of beat up, you know, off-road. You know, you've seen the videos out there of the real ones, people just tearing them up on the trail. So I'm kind of looking at that, you know that style so i just ended up took the wheel wells back off and just left it this way for now <clears throat> i think it looks better that way uh maybe in another build i mean i'll use those if i do another one of these bodies but i just think it looks just way better like that um i got my dashboard i don't know if you've seen that on instagram i did the dash it's a 3d printed dash I think RC Nerds from uh, uh, Shapeways where I got that. 
I didn't go crazy with it, but you know, just kind of, just you need to have a dashboard. The seats, these seats I'm not going to use because really the scale is too small. They're too small. And they're nice looking, nice detail, but they're too small. I ended up getting some killer body seats for one of their trucks. I haven't put them together yet. But they're a little wider, thicker. You know, if I use him for a driver, it, it'll be better, you know, suited for him. Plus, they have this real, like, you know, rubber seat cover for the front and the back and the headrest. So that'll be nice. Um, the hood, like, a, you, you knew me dealing with the hood. Well, before that, you know, I got the grill done. I got my little intercooler in behind there. I still have to weather all this up, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. But the hood, I finally got it working. I ended up doing a little hinge setup on here. If you can see these little hinges. Um, if I can, I'll put a link to a video where I saw a guy do these hinges. They're just made out of paper clip and uh, some little styrene tube. But just to kind of hold it in place, I can still take the hood off. So, but, you know, it just holds it in place a lot better. I'll still have to make uh, some kind of apparatus to, you know, pop the hood out on the trail if I need to. But, you know, it turned out pretty good. But uh, what else? That's about it. I got my windows ready. I'm waiting to put the, I'm not doing any side windows here, but the, all the windows in the back I'm probably going to put in. I've got them ready to go. I'm waiting for some spray, uh, more window smoke to just tin them up a little bit. But that's about it. Uh, I'm just going at it. Uh, I'm taking my time. Uh, and I'll still have to build the interior and get it going, which that's you know probably going to be the hardest thing for me. But uh, I appreciate everybody watching. Stay in tuned. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Thanks.